this is the model I had, uh, I made. It's got um, a whole bunch of nonsense to it. It's got, there, see, now it works. I don't know what was wrong with it. Uh, it's got inverse kinematics, which is just the opposite of doing it normally where, like, you have bones in each part and they control a certain amount, like we were talking about with weight painting before, uh, the bone controls a certain amount of actual space. Uh, and so this is just doing it the opposite way, so it makes it move with only moving one thing. So that's really nice for being less annoying, I guess. Uh, I added, um, there's a lot of, uh, well, you, you guys were learning about like squash and stretch, stuff like that. Uh, there's a thing called a lattice, and you can do all sorts of <laughs> uh, with that. And so it helps with, uh, then there's uh, the eyes. I did a method where Blender has a, a function where you can use um, 2D, it's like a mixture of two dimension and three dimension. Let's see, I can probably bring one right now. Uh, so I have uh, connected to a bone, I have a, that what they call a grease pencil object, um, which is just you can draw in, th okay, no, I have to turn this one first. You can draw in 3D space, it goes onto it. So originally my idea was to uh, just draw the face on, because I'm not going to good with 3D face, but I just added eyes um, that are somewhat easy to control, so I can move around. Um, they also have uh, various different shape keys, uh, different expressions. Yeah. I can do the Hold on me. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, there's that. There's uh, also with inverse kinematics, as you can, since all of these are in the same space, you can like move around and do a do a dance or somewhat something. Uh, right, moving on. So we have <laughs> uh, various other different things. I show you the time machine. Okay, this this one. This is going to be not broken now. Please, please do. Uh, so this is. Uh, this is going to be low frame rate since it has to render this all live, <laughs> but it'll be fun. Uh, there's no audio for this one. Whoa! But, um, yeah. It's an yeah. uh, introduction to the building. Oh, Holy goodness. Whoa! Dude. Uh, so the, the animation style is a bit more like sort of, I guess, animatic for most of it. For this part, I wanted to do like actual like full walk cycle. And it's actually very broken if you look close enough, but <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Uh, Alright, what else? Um, this scene's fine. Um, this, I've been working on this since I saw the last year's in this. Or at least, like, in my head. Because, okay, big backstory or whatever that was supposed to be in the video is that um, this was originally supposed to be, I guess, sort of like um, first person. Like, uh, I was using all the characters to talk directly with the camera. Then one night I was like in the shower and I was like, what if it was third person instead? So I rewrote the entire thing, <laughs> uh, and now it's not done. So, <laughs> anyways, um, That's so awesome. What is this? What are you? Oh, I'm the only rewriting my What are you? So like each frame that it's on, it creates a new one, so it makes it very, very slow. So we're not going to do that right now. But anyways, uh, I'm going to do a mm -hmm. Being a detective ain't so bad. The downside is you're always on the job, except for weekends, of course, and afternoon. But there will always be that one client 
gets on your nerves. I paid for you like four months ago. Were you actually going to do anything? Cram it, toots. Well, maybe giving you the silent treatment might give you a clue, but I guess you just don't learn, do you? Track down the schmuck, wasting your time forever here. The thing is, you know, like, it's you. It's been you from the very start. What do we even pay you for? So I'm just supposed to take responsibility for my own actions? How does that make any... Wait, never mind. I, I see what you're saying. Go. So that's that. Um, <laughs> It's horrible. <laughs> I, should, uh, I was gonna get someone, someone else to do some of the, the voice acting. The problem is most of this is me talking to myself. Um, <laughs> and then there's a whole bunch of stuff that's just not gonna make it in whatsoever. Like uh, this that I made for a, a cutscene, or like a, a joke, sort of like midway through. It's some. Um, those of you who know what it is will know. It's it's a it's a video game. But, um, the portal. Wait, what is this? So it, it's stupid. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> again, it's, it's very so Wait, it's it, it's broken it's already. Alright. I don't, I don't know. It's, uh, it's like a lot of physics yeah. in the game. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Bro. <gasps> and then, again, with uh, shape keys and stuff. I forget what these do. This one was a while ago. Uh, <laughs> I have, since it's this computer, I have some other junk. Uh, this one was for the second part. Okay, so I was like, and I'm probably not going to anyway because I have, what is it, the 20th is in how many days? Uh, but I wanted to do like lip syncing, right? No time for that. It's not. Not possible. Uh, so instead, for the second part, because this was supposed to be three parts, I'm not even done with the first one. Um, I wanted to do like in the second part, you can, or it's sort of like a video game parody, which is really just. But when I say parody, I mean making up for something that I just can't do. <laughs> uh, so this was, this, was, this was supposed to be like the background sprite, uh, while the actual stuff was going on. So I, this is the same the same model as before, just with like I scaled some of the bones weirdly, made a little oh. like. Uh, <laughs> nice. yeah. And then also with uh, is this the one that I think it is? No, I can't see. Hold on, maybe. Yeah. Okay, so this was like just a time vortex type thing, so it should. There we go. Whoa! Oh, I did do a closing one. I guess it that's a nice. It's so pretty though. Yeah. So all of this, it's really cool with 3D. And this is all Blender, uh, which I, I'm a big fan of. And I suggest all of you learn if it's something that you're interested in. But it's, uh, this is all, oh, you can't see. This is. Where is it? Okay. Um, I'll get rid of this one. So this effect is all with this thing that they, the professionals call a node tree. And it's just a whole bunch of nonsense that makes no sense to anyone. <laughs> uh, and then the effect is, is uh, shape keys, so, though. That, any, any. Most of this is on my home computer because it's made up of a lot of different junk files that are... Okay, how is that? I, I think it's enough for showing yeah, your file. Uh, uh, any, way like, way questions? Way. Yeah, questions yeah, about, like... <laughs> yeah. So is this all self-learned, or did you learn it here? Um, a lot of it, let's see, last year during... Oh, no, it was the summer of not last year, but the year before last year, uh, right when COVID started. Um, that summer, I watched uh, the Blender Guru Donut Tutorial, which is um, the basically the starting ground for most people uh, in who are most like I guess hobbyists. I don't know, but um, after after that, I stopped doing anything with it for basically until <laughs> until um, is it Thanksgiving? Over the Thanksgiving week, I, I like re basically restarted and did it from scratch, uh, and then after that, I've just been doing uh, non.